Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a sampler for sound effects for live performances in Reaper. So I have a client that plays live shows and they want to trigger samples during the show. So they wanted me to set up a Reaper project for them so they could trigger those effects samples. So I have a project set up here that's empty and we're going to start from the beginning. I'll create a new track by double clicking. I'll name it effects samples. Now for this client, they're going to use one keyboard layout for the entire show. So we're just going to use one track and one project. If they had a lot of samples and needed more, we can create different projects for each song or create a different track for each song all in one project, where they just put each track into record for each song they want to trigger. But for this client, we could do it all on one track and one keyboard layout, just by using different keys for different samples. So the samples we're going to use that they sent me are on my hard drive. Right over here. We have a crowd cheer, some wind chimes, a synth loop, part one and two, that they want to trigger live to play along with the drummer. Then a gong, and finally an explosion. So again, we're going to put all these samples all on one keyboard that could be triggered by different keys. So we'll go back to Reaper and go to this track and make sure the input is set up to be MIDI. And the track is in record. And if we play our keyboard, we should see level on the meter, at least for MIDI. And we do. So it's working. Now we'll go to the effects on the track and let's search in the filter sampler or just sam and we'll choose the plugin resamplematic 5000 which is a sampler that comes with reaper and it's very useful for this purpose let's double click it and it looks like this and we can add our samples right into here to be triggered by our keyboard let's first choose the key we want to trigger our first sample and we could do that either by typing in our numbers over here or more easily by first hitting our MIDI key that we want to use. I'm going to use C1, then double click over here, and it changes the triggered notes to that note, to C1. So now we'll go back to our hard drive and choose the first sample. Let's choose the crowd cheer, just drag it in to here and drop it. And now we could trigger this sample from C1. Let's try it. Now you'll notice the note doesn't cut off when we let go of the key. If you want that behavior, make sure we turn on Obey Note Offs. So we can let go of the key to stop the sound. Otherwise, it'll just play until completion, which could be useful so you don't have to hold down the key. But we obviously can't cut it off if this option is off. It's going to play the entire sample. So let's bring in another sound. We'll copy and paste this to duplicate it. Choose the next key we want to use, which will be C2. Double click over here and choose our sample. This time we'll choose the wind chimes. Drag it in and drop it. And now if we hit C2, it'll trigger the wind chimes. And again, we don't have to hold down the key unless we choose Obey Note Offs, which could be different for every sample we use. But again, I'm going to leave this off so the performer could just hit the key quickly to get that sample. Yeah. 
Next, we're going to bring in the synths, and we're going to put them on C3 and D3. So we'll start with C3. We'll duplicate this, copy, and paste. We'll hit C3, double click this key, and it changes it to C3. Go to our hard drive and choose the first synth loop. Drag it in and drop it. And we could trigger this synth loop with C3. Again, it'll play completely if we leave obey note offs off. We'll duplicate it again. This time we're going to choose D3. So it's next to the first part. Double click it, go to our hard drive, and drag in synth loop 2. Drop it. And now C3 and D3 are going to play that synth loop like this. So the performer can trigger that on the fly and play along with the drums and the bass. So now let's add the gong. We'll duplicate this again. We'll put it on C4. Double click. Drag in the gong and drop it. Now the gong is triggered with C4. Again, completely if we leave this off. And then finally, we'll bring in the explosion and we'll put it on C5. Double click, it changes to C5, and we'll drag in the explosion. Drop it, and now C5 will trigger the explosion. Now, if you find any of the samples too loud or too low, Compared to the others, you can always adjust their volume right here. Make them quieter or louder. And again, it plays to completion unless we turn on Obey Note Offs. So now, just using our keyboard, we could trigger all those samples. Starting with the crowd, then the wind chimes, then our synths. Our gong. And finally, the explosion. So it'll be real easy to trigger this live on stage. And like I said, we set up the whole live show just using this one project and this one track. If you have a more complicated setup, you can set up different tracks for each song, or even different projects for each song. But one more thing to keep in mind, when you save this when you're done, choose Save Project As, make sure you save it and create a subdirectory for the project, and copy all media into the directory. This way Reaper will create a folder and include all these samples. This way, all your samples will be with the Reaper project. So you can trigger them very easily. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use a sampler for sound effects for live performances in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.